on this snowy weekend of my weekend van life, it's city camping one more time. I'm doing a, an event on the Saturday of the weekend, so it meant staying close to the city limits, especially because the weather isn't as pleasant as it usually is. Lots of snow coming down. It's just a lot cooler than it usually is. So the thought is to stay close and stay warm. The night's just getting started and I can't believe I didn't get more footage of the night. Oh well, at least everybody had a roaring good time. So the snow has arrived. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, <sighs> just have to find a spot to sleep, some side road to sleep tonight after this gala. It was great, had a good time, lots of dancing, but now have to find a place to sleep <laughs> and figure out the way back home depending on what's going on in the morning. <laughs> oh well. Yep. You play hard and you work hard. Whoops. Oh. Stalling. Talk soon. that's a slippery driveway trying to get out of here. So the trusty van got unstuck. Now it's just getting back down into the city area to find that spot that I always cozy up to on the city camping events. It's just so much easier to cozy up there. So taking my time, the roads are pretty clear. There's not a lot of traffic, so it'll be an easy time getting to where I'll be. So this is home for the night, side road. While the snow piles up, who knows what it's going to look like in the morning, but I'm in good company because there are up two, at least two other popular van lifers that are right behind who have settled down for the night as well while the storm moves over. So I'm in good company. Okay, so I'm getting ready to pull out after doing a little bit of work. And it's funny, we uh, came up to the Tim Hortons up this way, and there is Band City Band Life. Crow and Cruzy in there, probably doing some prolific editing. That's beauty about being out on the road. You get to meet people you see online. Um, just the way that woman saw me online. What are the chances? But it's, <laughs> it's so cool when it happens. So this is the aftermath of that snowfall last night up here up island and um but the sun's out look at that look at that sky <laughs> things change quickly on vancouver island while well, things cleared up nicely from the night before all of that stormy weather in the dark but good old vancouver island one day it's a major storm the next day it's springtime again so this will melt off pretty quickly and we're back on track so I'm parked in a little town on the way back home from Up Island from the night before. So it's not the same type of Van, weekend van life video that I normally do. There was no campground, there was no firewood or hiking or any of the really fun or cool things that you normally see me doing. I 
was a keynote speaker at a gala event last night. And so it was just a matter of going up and hanging out in the city or the town until it was time to do my thing. It was get out of my camping gear and big sweater and big boots, my big, I call them my big lurch boots, and clean up and put on something presentable and get in there and do my thing. And it was a lot of fun. It was. And then the storm hit, the snowstorm hit, and just had to pull into a side road and hunker down for the night. It was really cool because you get to see some of the other van lifers that are pretty prolific on YouTube. I have yet to get to where they are as far as building a platform. They're, they're way ahead of me, but it's because you're on the road often, you run into them and you, you're introduced to them and they know you now, they see you. And uh, what I need to do is get a, a sticker for the van either I think I'll, it'll be mentor Pam on the van so people say hey I've seen that check I had a really cool incident happen yesterday while at the gala event a woman recognized me in the bat while I was in the bathroom there and she was just all effusive and bubbly it was just out of control for me specifically because I have such a tiny tiny channel and for someone to recognize me it's it's like a huge needle in a tremendously big haystack. So to have that happen was just mind blowing for me. But what was even more mind blowing that, you know, you never think that you have an impact on people until you meet them. And she talked about how I inspired her to get out there and use her fifth wheel more often than she's been using it. And I think that's a lot of people. They say that they only use their camper vans or whatever a few times a year during those maybe the summer months and stuff but there's no reason you can't use it all year round if you possibly can so but it really instilled in me that what the content I put out there somebody's watching even though I may not get direct notification of that or awareness of that right away there are people watching and look forward when you press that publish button or, or upload button I know sometimes we 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 get beside ourselves thinking no one cares or why bother. And I know every now and then I fall into that mind trap and think, well, why bother doing anything? Because no one's listening, no one's watching, nobody cares. And then you run into somebody in a bathroom <laughs> in an obscure place. And then it's like the universe saying, somebody cares, somebody is watching. That's why you need to keep bothering. So I'll keep showing up here. And even if I don't have much to say or contribute, um, like I like this week, I'm still going to come and say, hey, you know, keep showing up because you matter to somebody. You know, you may not be a, a weekend nomad or a full time nomad or a digital content creator, or what have you. But some way, somehow you are impacting somebody. And that's why you need to always try to be the best version of yourself because somebody is following your lead and what kind of lead and what how are you representing yourself out there whether you're a van lifer or whatever you do how are you representing yourself out there so that was a really good one for me last night is to keep that in my mind as I do what I do and to even if it's just for one person I'm doing my job and I and that's really what I'm in this for the van lifing part is it's for me I film it so other people can get the benefit of that as I learn and I grow because I'm really new at this and I'm and, and half the time don't know what's happening or who we're, I'm going. But it's just nice to know that you're part of a bigger picture. And it, it, if this feeds somebody, I hope I am getting what I need to keep that going. So really, the day has turned out beautiful. I had to wear my shades today because it's really bright out there, which is great. It's really nice to feel the sun on me. I think spring is on its way, even though there was snow yesterday. And, you know, we're still in the winter months, so snow can arrive at any point in time. So that's not a big thing. But it's just nice to see that when it does come, it's nice, it's it's bright, and then it starts to disappear so we can get, some, get back into camping mode again, which I always look forward to. So I have to wait another few days before I get back out here, but... I'm back again at it at the end of a week. So I'm going to keep moving. Whew. I 
had to get out of there for a second. The, the sun, it's beautiful and brilliant, but can be hot. And when you're having hot flashes, it's, it's out of this world, man. So I'm just going over here. There's a public washroom. I'm going to go and uh, use it. <laughs> it's always better to use public facilities while on the road if you possibly can, because yes, I have a toilet on board, but you got to deal with that, you know? You gotta clean that stuff. There's no sewer attached to this thing. <laughs> so, if I can at all help it, I'm using somebody else's sewer to do my business. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, well, that's finished. <laughs> it's a really beautiful day. I'm even walking around without my coat on which is always a weird thing for me because I like to be warm. But when you're hot flashing the way I am, so anybody listening to this and they got some kind of solution to some aggressive hot flashing, please drop me a line. <laughs> I need help. I've been doing this for a long time. Anyways, I'm just going to flip the camera real quick so you can see. Whoops, let me do this. I'm going to come around the corner. Let me flip the camera. Okay, so... There it is. Ooh. -hoo. So, this is the town of Shimanus, home of the world famous murals. I'll do another tour one day um, and do a walking tour of the city so you can see. I'm not sure who this, oh, there he is. That's who this guy is. Somebody named McMillan. Making a name and making it good. <laughs> but I'll do a walking tour so you can see the, um, the murals, they're just amazing. And there's so many of them. And they're gorgeous. So that's it guys, I'm on my way back home. There's a really great, uh, there's a really great East Indian restaurant here that I'm going to get some food at before I get on the road to home. It's so bright, I can't, there I am, <laughs> so bright. Uh, stop at and get some lunch before I head back home and um, start doing some editing. Another week. It goes by so quickly. That's the fun of all of this. It's getting out there, filming when you remember. Like, I hardly filmed the event last night. I was too busy partying and dancing and talking and eating that. I didn't get a lot of shots in there, but oh well. Got it up here. <laughs> so have a great week wherever you happen to be, whether you're in the sun, you're in the surf, you're in the sand, you're in the snow. Be safe out there. Have fun and we'll see each other again next week. Bye-bye.